Alright, smooth skins. So we can't get up there by going that way, but I'm I'm pretty sure there was a roof access around here somewhere, so I'm gonna check. This is bored up too. Ah, uh, is this it? Oh, I bet this is it. Yeah, this is the door I was looking at. Okay, here we go. Yes, roof access. Very good. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so we killed this person over here. Yeah, there they are. Public Works Maintenance Key. Riley's Mission. Okay, let's see here. Riley's Mission... Adjust converters of Boston's power grid, find high-powered magnet, investigate rumors about the Liberty Six. Hmm, adjust converters of Boston's power grid, find high-powered magnet. So, she was looking for some stuff out here for the people in the Institute. Seems like that could be correct. Maybe she just popped out of here and we shot her first thing. Sorry, Riley. This would have been a nice way to take out the guys over here. Nice vantage point to shoot them with. Instead of the more, like, frontal assault that we did that was a lot more dangerous, you know? So see, I hope I can get down from here and not injure myself. But it looks like we can. Okay, fair enough. Um, cool. I'm glad we got that. Let's go back. We want to go back over to Kendall, and we're on the right track for that. And uh, dump off our junk in that workbench. I'm not sure if I need aluminum or not, but I'll take some of this. Sure. What the? Hey, who's there? Is there more people over here? Oh, I killed everybody over here already. You are so dead. Just die. <laughs> oh, asshole. My face! I mean, look, I'm already on fire and ugly and everything, but jeez. It's my face, man. Does water help with this? I guess... I guess we'll see. I'm thirsty anyway, so... Probably should use a stim pack too, I guess, huh? God, flaming ghouls. That serves you right, asshole. Got torn apart by, uh, the ghouls. It serves you right, asshole. Throwing a Molotov at me. I mean, to be fair, I've thrown my fair share of Molotovs at people, too. But, um, you know, it's different when they hit me. Oh, yeah. I have a couple beers. Some, uh, anesthetic for that terrible ordeal we just went through. Well, that was awful. Hey, 
Hey, antibiotics at least. That's that's nice. 50 caliber shots. Okay, I mean, you know, not all bad, but certainly was not pleasant. Hey, duct tape and a safe up here as well. Yes. Nothing up there, I don't think. Okay. <sighs> what a day. What a freaking day. You know, my skin's already burnt to a crisp, so it's not like this is... This is not gonna mar my looks any, you know what I'm saying? But it sure as hell didn't feel good. I mean, hell, who knows, maybe it'll be an improvement on my looks. Somehow I doubt it. But who knows? Yeah, whatever. Not worried about every single little bottle I come across. Not gonna worry too much about it. Okay. Back in we go. Right, you had this uh, 50 cal hunting rifle that I couldn't carry. So I just shoved it on you. For safekeeping. <sighs> okay, there we go. I don't need this either. Could take the 50 caliber part off of this and then just junk the rest of it too. I don't really need it. So this thing, we just want the, um, we just want this, the stock. This is the best stock. Yeah, better recoil. Okay. And which one of these is cheapest to make? Four and eight, two and seven. This one for sure. Okay, we'll do that, and then uh, the long-improved barrel, I'm pretty sure we already have one of those. Rapid automatic barrel. Both the auto versions are pretty bad on this compared to the um, heavy receiver being 75. I mean, I guess 60 is not that bad, but still, uh, this, this is not that great. I don't, I don't care about that too much. Okay, let's get this stuff put on then. Got our mag already put on. Let's put on our nice stock. And there it is, folks. That is pretty much the best handmade you could ever want. Um, the sniper barrel would give me a bit more range. Um, make it heavier, though, and uh, it's all... Well, no, I guess it doesn't really change the weight at all. The short barrels will make it lighter but not that much lighter. Anyway, though, there it is. Go ahead and get rid of this thing. And then, uh, what else are we doing here? Probably have to take a trip back. Oh, let me see if I can uh, modify any of this stuff real quick. This is not bad. It's got a lot of nice mods on it, but I'm never going to use it, let's be honest. Let's be realistic here. We're never going to use it. Don't even worry about it. We got a bunch of uncooked food. Those are useful. A lot of useful stuff in here I probably want to pick up. And all of these I want to take back. 
including the missiles, but I definitely don't have room for the missiles. I don't even have room for all of the uh, various stuff here, so... Okay, the hunting rifle. Let me see here. Can I... I could just make a really crappy receiver for this, couldn't I? Heavy frame receiver is 92 versus 128. We can make a 38 receiver now for it, too, which... This would actually be maybe an okay way of using 38 ammo, but probably not still. It still doesn't do very much damage. And the fire rate on it is so freaking slow. But um, we could do a really cheap receiver on this. Take the 50 cal receiver with us. It'll be light. That way we'll have one. Let's do that. And I'll even take this um, reflex sight off of it. So I might want one of those at some point too. Okay, fine. Drop it off here. And that should be good as far as the weapons go. I don't want anything else. Now, as far as ammo goes, we got it all. As far as this stuff goes. Uh, adhesive, yes. Aluminum. Nuclear material, for sure. Wood, for sure, I'll take. Desk fan, eh. We got plenty of gears and screws and stuff back at the base. It's a bit heavy for what it is. Circuitry we're gonna need to make more uh, fusion cell ammo. Need this for the crystals, even though it's pretty heavy. Duct tape is a yes. Copper is okay. I think we'll need aluminum too. And these are pretty light, so that's fine. Telephone's good for the circuitry. Screw, nah. Wood blocks are fine. Wooden spoon is fine. That yeah, should probably be good. I mean, I can take, like, one or two more things. Could even take a missile, honestly, if I wanted to. Like, just one missile. It'd be fine. Okay, so this is the point where I probably uh, make my way back home. Wasn't sure if I checked over here or not. Well, if I didn't, there's nothing here. So yeah, at this point we make our way back home. Drop stuff off and keep exploring. I guess if I found a, um... A workbench, I could probably make a scrap kit somewhere. A chemistry bench. Well, I have a chemistry bench. I just need to get my chemistry bench out. Duh. So, can I make a... I don't think I can. Cloth, oil, steel, and acid. I mean... Oh, and I need I need a, a, a scrapper rank for this. Um, I'm going to want to be able to do this eventually. Scrapper is intelligence, right? Yeah, so maybe we invest some into intelligence so we can get scrapper... And then we'll get nice stuff from, uh, that we want, like, screws and stuff from weapons, too. It'd be kind of nice. I want science eventually, too. So, I mean, yeah, we're going to have to invest in intelligence eventually. I guess we go ahead and do that. We can get Scrapper next level. We're getting pretty close to next level anyway, so... Alright, I'm gonna head back, drop stuff off, and I'll see you once we're back here. What have we here? Intervention note, food paste. Decent handmade here. A lot of food paste. 
Okay, cannot possibly be better than mine because, uh, you know, mine is like the best you can get pretty much. So, yeah, we'll just drop this, but the ammo is appreciated. Thank you for the restock. Intervention note. Here it is. Hank, you've been eating a lot of that food paste that we got from Suffolk School. It's affecting you, like, in a real bad way, man. You've been flying off the handle at every little, little thing. Always have this crazy look in your eyes. Heck, during that last farm raid, you even shot up a couple of runners. We don't kill them when they're fleeing, man. We're better than that. I know this stuff tastes great, but is it really worth all this? I mean... I had to write this down because I'm scared you would shoot me in the face if I said anything in person. We're your friends. We just don't want to see you go down the wrong path. Just drop the paste, man. Food paste from a school. Mm, it gives you a nice endurance boost. That's pretty nice. Little safe there I didn't see before. Very nice. Get that. Sweet. Thank you, my detector. You probably just saved my life. Not sure why you're half in the ground. And, uh, to be honest, I'm too afraid to ask, so. Don't want any of these, I don't think. Yeah, this is all a bit too heavy. This thing looks very cool, and I kind of want to keep it. It has very high stats on it. And doesn't have a weave on it, so maybe I could, uh put a weave on that and use it at some point. This also just looks cool. I kind of want to keep it just because it looks cool. Don't judge me, man. We gotta drop something here to make some room. Desk fan. I'm sorry you gotta go. Good thing we're crouched. What a sneaky mine. And there's more. <laughs> Alright, I don't really want these. <laughs> okay, I don't want this one either. Oh, we're... Oh, because our stuff wore off. Now we're like way too over-encumbered. Okay, fine. I'll drop it even though it looks cool. I really need the uh, crystals and these to make the the ammo that I want, so I'm going to keep it, but man, it's heavy. There it is, I see it. dropping this stuff, but like really can't deal with it right now. Let me swap our weight here and see what we're carrying. Yeah, all of our kits, of course. Can drop that for sure. Don't care about it. Don't really care about these at all either.
That was close. Okay, I don't care about tin cans. I had to disarm them, though. So where's the trigger at for these? <laughs> Must have been that. Oh, let's see. Meh. It's okay. Boosted capacitor is the same as mine, right? Yeah, same damage. Not really that good. Same with that. Not very good. That one's actually okay, but I don't need a 10 mil. Alliance defector? Possibly. No, I want... Crap, I wanted the impact grenade. Those could be very, very handy. Still more. Sort of been tripped. I think he tripped at himself. Okay. Pretty sure we're good now. Can't quite get over there. We can get down up here. Fire escape. Nothing left here that's useful to us. Just empty bottles, yeah. Some uh, party lights over here, huh? Yeah, we can't get in though. It's an odd looking door. All right, well that weirdness is out of the way, I guess. All these freaking mines I can't carry. Okay, it's over that way somewhere. I'm not going to bother with it. I don't, I don't want it. I just don't want to run over it, you know? I don't want to use it. I just don't want to step on it. Anyway. Okay. Heading back for real. Oh.
more ghouls, but out of their misery, I suppose. Hmm. Somebody killed the other ones, it looks like. This is not exactly healthy for me to be in, but it doesn't really bother me either. Because, you know, I'm a ghoul. Decent stuff in here, I guess. Which I can't really carry. Okay, gas mask, you gotta go. Does make me curious what killed them all, though. Meh, nothing really here. Nothing that I care about anyway. Alright, as we were on our way. Even more mines, huh? There's one. Is there one closer than that? The hell is this? Someone's just stacking them up over here. Good lord. And again, I don't really want these that much. They're not worth a particularly large amount. There we go, explosive demolition. bomb cleaning service at your at your whatever at your disposal or something this is uh Takandaroga I you know I'd always mispronounce it Okay, and we are just about home then. This right? Is it over here? Yeah, Valenti's right over here. That's what I thought. I get confused so easily in downtown. So much clutter, so hard to keep track of what's what. Okay, home sweet home. I'm going to drop off some stuff, do a bit of inventory management and stuff here. we got a lot of explosives. More than I can probably ever use on one outing anyway. It's a very nice knife, uh, but those knives are not very good at blocking things. Leather coat. I want to check this because I can modify this. That's nice. That's actually pretty damn good for what it is. I mean, it is rather heavy, but... The weight compared to the resist, and you get 30 carry weight. And the max one here, that's pretty amazing. 80 of each DR, some rad resist, 35 carry weight. It's, uh, it's really a shame I can't wear this with my outfit, right? It's going to... Yeah, it, it's either or. Looks pretty badass, though. I mean... Comparatively, though, right? Like... 
Yeah, I've got quite a bit more DR, ER. Take off everything. Except for my armor, and I've got 141, 141. That's pretty significant. Looks cool and uh, all that, but... Uh, not as good as what I'm wearing overall, for sure. Like, mess it up better. I mean, in terms of weight, like, it has, it has the weight of, like, this, right? Just the, the chest piece. You could justify it for the weight, for sure. Otherwise, though, I don't think you can. Okay, made a nice profit of ammo here. 308 rounds, 45 rounds, bunch of random stuff we can sell, 556 five, rounds. We get, we're getting a lot of 556 five, rounds now. Didn't use too many of my fusion cells. More than I would have liked, but we're, we, we did make a profit, but you know, we, we're not that bad off either. I'm still flush on 762 rounds, I guess, so... I'll keep on taking that thing out. I mean, it's it's like one of our best guns, but we're also very rich on the 5.56 five, ammo. If you ever want to take that out and use that, so keep that in mind, I suppose. We have a lot of missiles. I didn't realize we had so many missiles. Okay, we're, we're done bringing missiles back. We don't need to bring any more back. I'll never need to use that many. That's... That's plenty. Yeah, we have plenty of ammo we can barter with if we want to, to, like, save our money and not use, uh, that. But we also have other stuff, too. Right, uh, hunting rifle. Yes, we could put the 50 cal on this. What I'll probably do is put the 50 cal receiver on this thing. This is the wrong bench. Put the 50 cal receiver on that. Is this our best one? Didn't I get one that has, like, a way better stock on it? Yeah, this one. Sniper hunting rifle. This is the good one. Let's see here. Probably should just get rid of this one, yeah? I'll compare them here real quickly, but this is a nice one. Let's see. This has... Tuned receiver, full stock, medium scope. Long barrel. This one has better everything by far, by like a mile. I could swap the scope out, but I can also just make a scope if I want to. It's not a big deal. Um, but if I'm going to do anything with this, I could even put a suppressor on this. This would be a nice sniping rifle, honestly. Put a nice scope on it. Nice magazine. Best stock already. And we can put that 50 cal receiver on it. I mean, this actually would make the 38 ammo reasonable to use by doing this too. But uh, this will be like a nice instant one-shot kill sniper rifle. Just very, very slow fire rate is the main issue, of course. Uh, this thing we can just scrap, I think. We'll just leave it for now, but we're gonna, we're gonna scrap it eventually. It's not very good. Okay, put those away for now. I'm not going to use them. Um, but they're there if I need them. Right X and right away. We can sell these, actually. I'm going to go through stuff and rest a day or two, guys. And I'll get back to you. So looking at our stockpile of stuff here to make fusion cells... Uh, once we get science rank 3, we can start making these, and, um, honestly, the thing I'm behind on, well, the most is going to be nuclear material, but, um, adhesive, we're going to go through a lot of adhesive for this, but we'll be able to make about 250, maybe, by the time I can make these, like 300, once I have the points in science to make these, I can make like 300 or so of these. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fusion cells. It'll be nice. It'll be pretty good. 
I can also make 308 rounds in bulk here, but aluminum is going to be the kind of the factor between a lot of these because, yeah, we're going to need a lot of aluminum. But I know we can get a lot of aluminum, though, so if we need to. Can make frag grenades as well, but again, that uses adhesive, so I'm not hurting right now for anything, really, so I'm not... Oh, I, I did want to make some mine detector charges. Um... I do want to make those. I'm getting a bit low on those. So yeah, we'll do... That should be plenty for quite a while. And I did manage to get my Sandy squared away. I mean, we're at, we're at 80 because we have uh, alcohol addiction, but we are at full Sandy now, so that's good. That is good. You know, I think I left my sleeping bag back up there. It's fine, though. We're going to go back up there anyway. How's my weight? Am I reasonable? 163 is not great, but it's not terrible either. We're carrying quite a bit in terms of food and water and such, so... Probably fine. Did not mean to make that, or to use that, but whatever, it's fine. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'd like to steal your bed. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book and you fell for it, lady. Move your meat, lose your seat. You'll always be welcome here. Alright, thirsty, hungry, etc. Okay, good to go. I'm gonna grab like one more food item here. Maybe two. Keep telling them we're running low on supply. Can you take the risks? And back out we go. Yes. So I would say that Cambridge looks pretty well explored at this point. Like, I think we're pretty good here. Nothing I really need to check out here anymore. We're certainly not done with this area yet, with um, all this area. There's still Scully Square, where the upper area of the mushroom farmers are at. We've also got uh, this area. We've got Lexington over here. Which is going to be huge. Lots of stuff over there to explore. There's that charter school where that pink food paste came from. We can check it out at some point. That boat was um, over here. By Croup Manor. Okay. Which is over by uh, where Libertalia is going to be at. Alright. Um... Liberty Six it is. Boston Airport should be full of ferals too, I'd, I'd assume. Full of people that got stuck there and... had a bad time. Well, I'm gonna say let's just keep exploring up and out then, I guess. I'll just start pushing into, um... Lexington, I would say. Gonna be a bit of a run, though. I'll stop by up there and get my uh, sleeping bag, and then we'll be on our way. Well, guys, the weather has taken a pretty drastic turn for the worse. It's, uh, it's 9 a.m., but I made it to Kendall. But yeah, the weather is really bad, so... I'm just going to rest for like an hour in here, and hopefully uh, weather clears up after that. Grab my sleeping bag here as well. See if I can find a uh, chair to sit my butt down in and rest for like an, uh, an hour, because this is a no-go out there. It's just too nasty. 
This will do. All right, let's see if it's cleared up outside any. Hope it's not still a hellhole out there. Yes, very nice. Okay, clear weather once again. Storm has moved on. So there was primarily one more spot I wanted to check out over here. And that was um, the Polymer Labs, which I think is over here. Might be this unmarked location. Scavenger's note. Ooh, Nuka Cola Dark, very nice. Didn't actually want your sledgehammer, just the uh, wonder glue or whatever it was there. What's the scavenger's note say? Got a nice lead on something. Wilson Automatoys. Yeah, I'm sure Wilson would be good. And Wilson Automatoys is... We may have already went past it. Over here. Yeah, okay. If we're ever over in that area again, we can go check it out. We certainly haven't scavenged everything that's over there in that area. Not even by a long shot. There's still quite a lot to go through over there. Around Fenway Park and in Fenway Park. Which I guess is now uh, Fort Fenway. But I wanted to check out the labs, which I'm pretty sure are right over here. Oh, this is the Fraternal Post. We'll check us out too. Sure. Okay. Well, at least they blew their own minds. Okay, could have gone a lot worse. Huh, that was uh, that was an experience. Okay, we're fine though. Just some scrapes and bruises. We'll be okay. Letter to Martin. I hear some more down there. Martin, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. What happened on the overpass, that was my fault. I shouldn't have left. I know that nothing I can do will ever change what happened, but I can only hope that you'll forgive me. I want to come back if you'll have me. We can make those sons of bitches pay. It's like Dad used to say. Nobody messes with a McIntyre man and gets away with it. Coleman.
Well, that bourbon makes up for that murder, I guess. Didn't have a chance to check these desks properly because I was kind of preoccupied with the ghouls. Which I think that's all we have left in here is ghouls. Say no, 20 bucks, that's nice. <laughs> Any goodies in here? Well, one goodie. There we go. Hmm. Scientists and some military men all strung up. Wonder what their crimes were. Well, that was an interesting stop. Some free booze and not too much resistance. <laughs> 